all right guys welcome to another video in this video I'm going to be showing you three ways you should never export your files if you intend to have a very sharp and crispy print now this takes for granted that maybe your machine is bad the assumption is that your machine is absolutely fine but your printing is not sharp enough so these are quick fixes to correcting some of the problems you might have with printings that are not sharp. By sharp, I mean printings that look dull. Before we continue, I need you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. What that does is it gives us visibility on YouTube so that our videos can reach out to more people and then YouTube can give us more recommendations so that your friends, friends, friends can see them. Thank you so much. Let's proceed. When a printing is not sharp, it can mean a couple of things. It can mean that you did not export it well and it can mean that your machine has issues. In this video, I assume that your machine is fine but your printing is still not sharp. If your printing is not sharp, then it's a software related problem. It can be maybe you didn't export it well. One way you should never export a file for print. Number one, don't go to file export and export as a JPEG file. Don't do that never use a jpeg to print on your machine i don't know what kind of machine you use maybe higher hand models may not have this problem but if it's chinese machines don't export jpegs and expect that jpegs will print well never export your files using jpeg rgb what jpeg rgb does is it converts your cmyk print colors that you have set in cmyk and it converts them into RGB. What it does is to reorder your colors and make your colors output as RGB. Now, CMYK colors are usually drier and duller. That is, it looks very pale. It doesn't look very sharp. It, looks, it doesn't look very bright. And when you print a JPEG RGB, this is exactly what it looks like. Now, you don't immediately get a sense of what it looks like until we print another one. Uh, next to that, I'm going to print another one again that looks almost similar to this. When you export JPEG RGB, one of the first problems you're going to notice is this problem. The size of the file is 1.12 megabyte. What that tells you is that the file you are outputting for print is even too small for printing. You need anywhere from 20 megabyte to 30 megabyte to be able to print a good job because that file size at least can capture enough detail that will make sure that your print is not pixelating. If you are trying to export this now and then you are trying to print it on a media of 4 meters wide by 4 meters wide, this is not going to be a good print. That's one of the reasons why we don't use JPEG RGB. So there's another way to export your file that really seemingly looks like it's in the right direction. But if you still do it, it will still be in the wrong direction. And the file format is called TIF. With TIF file formats, you are now somewhat in the right direction. You are in the right direction by virtue of size. But you may still go in the wrong direction if you don't know what color mode to select. So let me show you exactly what I mean. If you go to file, click export, and then you select TIF bitmap. Let's go back to that folder where we're keeping things, elegant lingerie, then you click export. Now, in this place where it says color model, if mistakenly you pick RGB, for instance, you can set any resolution here, depends on how big you want the file. If you export at this file size, you get 247 megabytes. Don't forget, our RGB JPEG was giving us 1.12 megabytes. So you can see that the differences in quality is not the same. However, there's something you need to know when you are exporting as RGB. Always ensure that the background you picked has a color. You may not know, especially when the color is white. For instance, I have removed all the color. Here now, it's telling me color is none. But at the same time, there's no difference. Always ensure that you set a background color. If your background color is white, make sure you set white, especially in Corel Draw. Remember? to set background as white if you don't set background as white your objects that you made transparent will come out as full and then it will destroy your print keep that in mind that said let's go out now and export 
Now, next print color model that I'm about to show you is when you export TIF RGB. Alright, compared to the other one, I'm not, I know you can see there's clearly no difference, just the same, just the same thing. While this may look sharp to you, uh, my camera is doing wonders here, it's making it look even finer than it really is, but it's kind of pale and looking funny. Uh, I'm going to show you the best way to export your file so that you can have the maximum print quality. Now, the third way to export that I'm about to show you is the best way to export. It's what we have found over the years and it has worked for us. If you don't know this before, now you do. If you go to file, you click exports. Yes, we're going to pick TIF only, but this time around, we're going to pick TIF CMYK. Now, what this does is two things. One, it gives you a very heavy file, 247 megabyte, as opposed to the 1.12 megabyte of the other one. But secondly, it matches the color model that you use to design your job. Don't forget, the colors that you have here are all in CMYK. Can you see cyan is 100, magenta is 100. Look at the red. The cyan, okay, the red is RGB, so I'm going to change this to CMYK. Look at the red. The red is CMYK, right? And then these other colors are all CMYK based. So cyan is CMYK, magenta as well is CMYK. And every other color there are all based on the CMYK color model. Now, when you export a file like this, a heavy file, high quality resolution, and at the same time, you pick the matching color model, you have done justice. You have been able to capture all the color depths that you are printing with. Now, don't forget that your machine in our previous video also prints as a CMYK. So once you are able to do that, you pick CMYK TIF, right? Not RGB, CMYK TIF, and then you export. You get the best use of your design and then you put your machine at an optimal position to be able to deliver the color that you have designed that's why your printing will look a lot sharper than when you do rgb rgb especially when you pick rgb jpeg it will not print a good job uh, at tif cmyk still won't print a good job as a matter of fact you cannot even use rgb I mean, JPEG CMYK is going to give you a black print. So, like we have shown you, it's going to give you a black print. But once you use uh, TIF CMYK, you get the best color that you can have. Now, we're on system here. And I just wanted you to see, you know, the stark difference between when you export as TIF CMYK and what it looks like on main top. On the right here is TIF CMYK, but on the left has been the TIF RGB that we have been doing. You can see that the color is not the same. This one looks brighter and sharper even on main top. Now let's look at what it looks like when you print it. Can you see it? This, even by looking at it, is looking considerably sharper. It's completely different from the way it's rendering these colors. You know, while you were looking at these colors, these were looking extremely sharp. But look at this. Can you see the difference? So, if you want a very sharp print, and you want your machine to perform at its optimum, can you see the difference? TIF, CMYK. Do you understand? Don't use TIF RGB, don't use JPEG RGB, use TIF CMYK. Can you see how sharp and glossy looking? Can you look at the colors, right? And look at this. It's just dull, pale, and funny, right? Can you see that? So that's what I wanted to show you. If this has helped you, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video with your friends. Do have a lovely day. See you next time.